What's up, buddy? It's Sentinel Primek, and uh, Lego just introduced this new fix with the 21303 Wally set, and I got it today. It should be able to fix the head. I'm not sure which part it fixes. I'm hoping for the, the rotating head. And here it is. Let's get it open. They already sent the first first update, which was this neck joint here this bottom neck joint and it seems to be the second batch to make it stronger which is more stable now but now the, it's the only the head part is turning which which is not bad but you need the friction so Okay, so it's an all new part actually. That's pretty sweet. That's on inside the box. Here are the parts. Some pamphlets. This one's a receipt. actually zero bricks so. though. See it says here's the alternative set of bricks for your Lego the Wally set. Uh, the head moves too a bit too freely and the designers have created an alternative build for the neck. And yeah, so it's free of charge. Here's the instructions. I actually didn't know about it, they just emailed me for some reason. If they haven't emailed you, you can use an interruption. So if you want this, if you want these extra pieces, you can contact the Lego representative by calling. I think calling is the best option. They answer pretty quickly, and you just give them the email and whatever, and they ship it to you. So I guess that's how they follow up with this. So here it is. The instructions for how to replace them. Very nice. Instructions on how to disassemble. That's pretty cool. Here's the build build up of it. I don't think I don't think this fixes the rotating issue though. Just fixes the stability of the neck, or maybe it does. Oh yeah, it does. You can see there's a ball joint there. Instead of the, instead of this, this piece right here, which rotates around here, I've added. I've actually added this. I'm not sure what kind of tape this is called, but it's for fixing sewages, uh, plumber pipes or whatever. And it's supposed to help create more friction and increase the radius. Doesn't seem to help, anyways. So that's a big change. I guess I might build it right now. Just for you guys to see how it, how well it performs. So, here are the pieces. Tilt the cap. Okay, there we go. Put this to the side for a little bit. These instructions are very delicate. Let's 
seems like you're supposed to scour for the parts that they didn't include. This might take a while, so I'm gonna I'm gonna find all the pieces and then. So this is how it goes. I finally understand. So from here, they they expect you to already build the a uh, Wally set. So they say you get the you get these parts starting from step one from this book that came with the the Wally set, and this part the neck part is uh, step number ninety two, and the rest of the the limbs are step 109 so from step 92 this is where you are this is where you uh, fix the steps so I've removed this the middle neck part which is this so I removed the this part let me get this tape off Go. I'm supposed to remove the, the headpiece. And I guess that's the neck part. So from there, I guess we remove these pieces. Whoops. Not gonna try and mix it up with these. So let's start assembling. Gonna need these pieces. And this new piece, the ball joint. And these two old pieces. And these new clip-ons. Next page. Focus that. Then let me put those vents. these pieces oops these circles Then we put these 
plates. And then this to cover up all those holes. And then that's it, I guess. It's probably time to assemble. Back onto the neck. And you might be wondering why my neck is higher. Why I'm, uh, the neck on my Wally is higher because I've actually uh, added some stuff into there. Like some batteries so I can make it move. I can show you that at the end. Uh, it was quite painful to make. So here's the next step. Okay, so got this piece, put this new piece through, and then get the new ball joint, push it through here. And add that blue piece back in to the top. And get the new plate below this piece. And add this plate back on. And it should should secure back onto the wall. -y. This is much better. It's much more stable now. You can see how stiff it is. This is much better when it starts walking. Uh, when I use the controller. So the head won't always move around. And... More construction. So deconstruction first. Break apart this. Okay, so there we go. I I didn't disassemble some pieces because I don't. Uh, we're just rebuilding that for some of them. Instructions. So it started with those two blue pieces that I have here, assemble this, and then add the yellow bars, the access bars. Okay. Next, we add this, this bar here. Then we got a new piece. So let me put these on first. And then this new piece goes on the left side. Next, we do another one of those pieces right here. The one I couldn't take apart, which is a good thing. And then push it through these. Looks like that. So basically, this was the new piece that we had to put in. And top it off with this plate. Now we put this piece back onto the wall. Bring the 
Wally on. So this is how it goes. Can't see that. So now it plugs into these two holes, which should make it very stable now. That's pretty good engineering. And then that's that's it for the instructions. We just put the head back on. Here's the and you get this piece of tape off. Put the right side back. in the back this part this plant fell off and then remove the tape on this one and then we'll put the left side on My god. So there is still a weak point in this after all this. It's the tilting of the head. With these pieces here, I guess I shouldn't have removed the tape. These pieces here and these clips are still very, very loose. You can see how it tilts. There is a still a flaw. You can see how loose that is. There we have very sad looking Wally because how much it tilt the head. But everything is much stable, except for that part, and I'm going to have to add the tape back on. So, this, I want to show you the motorized Wally. I'm going to turn on the battery there. As you can see, I have an infrared connected, infrared receiver connected. And right here, and then I have the remote. So hopefully the head doesn't pop off when I show you this. So here's my controller. See the head pops off, but it still works fairly well now. Now that the head doesn't. Uh, swing back like the grudge. Guess that's the end of it then. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.